Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. What we're going to talk about today not only applies to your smartwatch, but your smartphone as well. And unfortunately, it appears to be a topic we all need to start paying attention to. That's the one of security. Yeah, a long time ago, it seemed like just having a good random password that was not easy to break was all you needed. But as we found with the revelations of Edward Snowden and uh, government looking into and recording everything we do, and now with uh, intense hacking of businesses like Sony and even uh, medical records from medical providers, it's become clear that if you're going to walk around with your phone or your watch, you're going to need to install something called a virtual private network or VPN. We're going to cover that today, but before we do, I want to mention that what we're looking at comes from Drippler. Uh, this is an app you can install on your phone and your watch, and as you saw, it has a lot of different drips or topics that you can look at. They do an excellent job of summarizing those. You also want to install Pocket. With Pocket, what you can do is take a particular article, like the one we're going to be looking at, and you can export it to Pocket, then you can open up Pocket on your watch if you'd like, and in addition to reading it at a nice uh, text, you can actually go through and listen to it as well. Fifteen free Android VPN apps to serve anonymously, February the fifth. And that's what we're going to do right now: is listen to this article. So as you can see, we have an article to look at. I'm going to show it to you on the phone, and I'm going to let you just listen to it as well from the watch. That way we're covering everything. Drippler, Pocket, voice technology built into the watch. We're streaming over Wi-Fi, and we're reading the article here. VPN is a very challenging topic. Basically what it's trying to do, as I understand it, is allow you on your device to encrypt before anything goes out uh, on the on the radio waves from your phone or your watch on either 3G, 2G, or Wi-Fi. It encrypts it and sends it to a server somewhere in the world that receives it encrypted and has the key to unencrypt it. And from there, it penetrates the internet and goes to wherever you want to go to, to surf the web or watch a movie or do banking. The encrypted link is between your device and a specialized server at the other end of the virtual private network. Now, they're talking about 10 free Android apps. That's a quasi thing. It's free to download them, but some of them, most of them, charge you either a flat rate or a prorated amount um, monthly for the use of this service. There are positives and negatives about all of these, and as we go through this list, I'm going to interrupt and give you some input as to why you may want to choose one over another, particularly using a watch. All right, let's go. All right, that's the most popular one in the world, it sounds like. It must be something that a lot of people use. 
That sounds good. And it's got the really high level encryption capability. Let's keep that one in mind. But let's see what else is out here as well, too, shall we? Now we're getting a little more sophisticated with whatever IPsec protocol is, but hey, it makes it tough to snip the data, especially at public Wi-Fi hotspots. Well, that's probably where you're going to be using your watch most often. You know, since it's, if you even if you put a SIM card in it, it's going to be slower because it's on the 2G network. So you're going to do anything significant, you're probably going to be doing it over Wi-Fi and possibly at a public Wi-Fi hotspot. That's good. This one might be one worth taking a look at. Get it here. Three. SpotFlu VPN. SpotFlu is a VPN app which takes care of the seclusion of data by providing two levels of protection and reduces the consumption of bandwidth by compressing data. This makes it a suitable choice for those who are interested in securing their data as well as maximizing the data plan available on their device. Get it here. Aha! Now we're starting to talk. If you've got 2G and you're running a data plan and you want to uh, have some sort of speed on your watch, having compressed data may make it faster. That makes sense? If the data's not as much data is going back and forth, then it's going to move at a faster speed ultimately if it can be compressed from both ends. Two levels of protection and reduced bandwidth. Nice! Spot Flux, I believe it's pronounced, VPN. And uh, that's just the third one so far. Four, Hola Free VPN. Hola Free VPN app is mainly for those who are looking for a completely free VPN Android app with some striking features. Along with securing data and providing access to geographically blocked content, Polar Free VPN speeds up browsing by selecting and connecting to the nearest and fastest servers automatically from the list of servers located in 190 plus countries. Get it here. Wow. Well, now we got more things to think about. Okay. Completely free. To me, that sounds like I don't have to pay for this and I can connect anywhere. And a thing that's introduced here is this access to geographically blocked content. Well, the way this whole thing works with this tunneling is, let's say you could connect to a server in, you pick one of the 190 countries. I don't know if you can pick them or not, but maybe you can. Perhaps there's something in Egypt, let's say, that's blocked from being viewed in the United States. And you're in the United States. You can do this connection to that country and it'll appear that you're actually in Egypt. And that way you could have access to blocked content. Does that make sense? So now we got security and we've got access to blocked content and striking features. Hola, free VPN. Hmm, doesn't talk about the data compression of the last one, but if you're mostly going to be on Wi Fi and you need to do this content connection to geographically blocked information, that might be one to look into. We've got that geographically restricted connective thing again. And get this, it's optimized for viewing low resolution videos. Well, what do you think you need to stream over uh, the data plan access uh, if you're going to watch videos on your watch? 
probably low resolution videos. It's only 240 by 240. A low resolution video on that small of a screen is going to look pretty sharp, actually. Hmm. Speed VPN number five. That's sounding promising for the watch market as well. Six. Super VPN. Super VPN is an easy to use Android app with approximately 5 million installs around the globe. It encrypts the traffic to keep the transmitted and received data safe from third party tracking without having to register or configure the settings of the device in a special way. Just a single click will enable you to use the internet and browse websites anonymously. Get it here. <laughs> now we're starting to talk. I'm getting a little intimidated by all of this. This one single click thing sounds good. I don't know. Uh, maybe I don't care about encryption or, 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 or having data compression or tunneling. I just want to push a button and feel that nobody's going to get my data when I'm out and about. This might say it's Super VPN. Maybe that's the one. You see how confusing it's starting to get? We're not even... Well, we're halfway through, but it, wait and see. There's more. Okay, if you're super paranoid about somebody getting in, even if you have your data encrypted, 256-bit encryption is really, really tough to break. They got to really want to get to it if they're going to do that. If you really are paranoid, maybe Hideman VPN is the one for you. I think it's going to eat up a lot of bandwidth because of the compression. There's no compression. It's 256-bit encryption. But hey, if uh, you're on Wi-Fi most of the time with your watch, that's a possibility. Eight. Touch VPN. Touch VPN. Encrypts data by using secure socket layer, SSL, which maintains a secure and encrypted link between server and client. The app also helps conserve the battery of the device. In comparison to other VPN apps, this makes it great for those who are looking for an app which offers these two features. Get it here. Wow, I was just thinking that I had it all figured out and now we start talking battery. That's true, battery is a big consideration on a watch. If I do a VPN and it eats up my battery time, I'm gonna be lost. So maybe this is the one. It does this SSL thing and, and, and it helps to conserve the battery on the device. Ah, choices. Get it here. Okay. Nine. Flash VPN proxy. The Flash VPN proxy app provides a secure and encrypted VPN network to make sure that all your incoming and outgoing data remains intact from hackers and data stealers. The best thing about it is that you can use it smoothly because it offers a decent amount of bandwidth for communication which is only often offered by premium apps. On top of that, there is no limit to how long you can connect for. Get... Yeah, so if you're going to be using your watch a whole lot and you don't have... you don't want to worry about the limits you can connect and you have a decent amount of bandwidth for communication, Flash VPN could be a consideration. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing about battery savings, though. Hmm. Get it here. 10. CyberCoast. CyberCoast is a nice app which provides banking level security. Usually, people have concerns that the apps might access their personal information that's available on the device. CyberCoast respects the privacy of its users and does not access any personal information. The free version of the app provides access to. 23 servers located in 15 countries, while the premium version gives access to 300 servers in 23 countries. 
get it here. So I'm starting to think I need to be concerned with how many servers and how many countries. That's like, you know, how many megabytes and how big is my gigabytes? I don't know. I can confused. Do I need to know each of the 300 servers and whether the 23 subset is something I want to connect to? And what countries am I missing? I, you know what? I don't know what to do anymore. Other than just show you a little bit more of the rest of the article. That's 10 of them. There's more and they're listed in Drippler. And I'm going to invite you if you want to check out these to definitely go to Drippler, do it soon, and take a look at all 15 of these along with the related posts that they also have on there. Virtual private network. It's important to set it up and have it working on your watch, on your phone, when you step out of your door and your secluded, secured, password protected, private Wi-Fi environment. You want to make sure that you're covered.